Welcome everyone to episode 1 of the Cookie Blast podcast, the podcast where we talk about Dragon Ball Fighters and anything else fighting game related. I am your host Subway Cookie and in this episode we'll be talking about Dragon Ball Fighters season 2 speculations. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for tuning in to the very first episode of the Cookie Blast podcast. I just want to say thank you and also this episode and probably the next few episodes are going to be very unpolished (laughs) especially this one because i wanted to get these thoughts out before lcq as you all know lcq is this weekend and there's going to be a lot of things that are going to be happening well i'm expecting to be that for there to be a lot of things happening at this lcq not only are we going to get super hype matches where we're going to be watching for months. Well, I'm going to be watching for months. I don't care. I'm going to be watching these for months on end so I can learn the tech, learn the neutral, learn learn everything there is to this game because I want to play this game um, on a competitive level. Oh, I'm going wa- <laughs> to be watching this LCQ. So if you're going to be like me, and if you're like me and you are super hyped for the LCQ this weekend, make sure to tune into the Twitch stream for it on the official Dragon Ball Fighters Twitch. Just search it up. You can't miss it. It'll You'll find it. Um, I'm not sure exactly what time it'll be starting, but it's from the 26th to the 27th at Las Vegas. So here it'll probably be on Sunday and Monday. Um, that uh, that we will be watching. Anyways. Anyways, anyways. So other than the amazing matches, hopefully, <laughs> and I say hopefully because uh, we probably will anyway, I, uh, we, will, sh- we should be able to receive a revelation or a reveal. We should receive the reveal for Season 2. And hopefully, uh, we'll get the reveal for Jiren um the official reveal for jiren because we all know we i'm pretty sure everyone has seen the leaked footage the footage on the ma- that magazine where it's goku uh super saiyan blue goku versus jiren and it pretty much confirms jiren is going to be in the game no doubt he's going to be the next uh, dlc but um i kind of don't want to talk about his moveset right now so um, I'll probably talk about his moveset when he is revealed. Um, so maybe next episode or the ne- episode after. I'm not too sure yet. But y'all, y'all can y'all can figure out what he what he's gonna be. If he's gonna be a brawler, if he's gonna be a rezoner or a grappler. I don't. I personally don't care. The only thing I look for in Jiren is a counter. And in that counter, he is going to stare at the opponent, his eyes open wide, and then the opponent is hit with some invisible crap coming from nowhere. (laughs) And they are sent flying, and it's back to neutral. (laughs) Or they can vanish. That's, That's all I want. Like, if I can land that move, if I can hit that move on my opponent at least once, I'm done. I don't care if I win. I don't care if I lose. <laughs> as long as I hit that move, I can say, Strength is just... <laughs> Strength is absolute. That's it. <laughs> That's it. I'm done. You you can take the win. You can take the W. I don't care. <laughs> but anyways, along, as the, uh, along with Jerem... We can expect a lot more characters this season, and it's it's been confirmed actually that there's going to be a lot more DLC, not necessarily characters, but there's going to be a bit more DLC for the for Dragon Ball Fighters because on Steam actually there's a lot more placeholders um, for the DLC for season two, so that pretty much confirms that there's more DLC. Uh, Like I said, it's not necessarily characters. It might be something else. But assuming that it's characters, and also assuming that Bandai Namco doesn't go the route that they took for Tekken, where they revealed, I think it's pretty much all. 
all the characters for the season? Or is it just just four of them? I don't know. I don't know if it's all four or if there's just... Yeah, well, but anyways, if they take that route, that would be sick. But if they don't, that's cool. We can continue speculating. So, like I said, these are just speculations for what could be and what can what makes sense for season two to come out and i guess the source of the topic that we're going to be talking about is an image that yoga flame posted on his youtube and i think the original post uh, the original source is a guy uh, I, i'm going to say guy loosely um a guy named minute fgc i'm not too sure on that source but he posted about a picture uh, for season two leaks, and I know he's the same guy that posted on season one leaks. But I think well, I'm not too sure. Sh- not too sure, but I'm pr- pretty sure, maybe like seventy five percent sure, that he leaked in quotes leaked some characters, and then once the data miners found found the list he kind of changed the list to make it seem like he revealed it exactly but i don't i don't know and i'm digressing right now but anyways we're going to talk about that list so that list of characters well the characters on the picture are jiren which is pretty much confirmed ultra instant goku gogeta janemba raditz zarbon Super Saiyan 4 Goku, Majin Vegeta, Master Roshi, the Saiyan Man duo, so that's Videl and Go- and Gohan as a Saiyan Man, a great Saiyan Man 1 and 2, Kefla, and also the new Broly. Now, maybe like a few of you will probably agree with a few things and probably disagree with a few things. And like I said, this is just speculation. This is probably a lot of it's probably going to be my own opinion. But along so that, now that we've got Jiren confirmed, it's I'm pretty much banking. Like I probably bet I bet you 5 bucks. Only 5 because I'm poor. <laughs> I bet you five bucks that Ultra Instinct Goku is going to be a DLC as well. Now, I say that because Jiren and Go- Ultra Instinct Goku pretty much goes hand in hand. Like, you can't have one without... Well, I mean, you probably could in Fighters, but it just makes a lot of sense. And they'd be riding that hype. That fight between Goku and Ultra Instinct... Uh, yeah, oh, <laughs> Ultra Instinct Jiren. Oh my gosh, that fight between Ultra Instinct Goku and Jiren was so so hyped and so watched by so many fans around the world. Like it just makes sense. It like it doesn't even matter that we've got like five Gokus. Like we've got what base Goku, Super Saiyan Goku, uh, Super Saiyan Blue Goku, Goku Black, and Bardock, which is pretty much just daddy goku all right oh and um vegito so 5.5 gokus in the game right it doesn't even matter you can add ultra instant goku people will buy that i'd buy that without a doubt i'd buy that oh my gosh i without a doubt and well i'll i'm already committed i'm buying the season pass anyway but without a doubt i'm buying that people would buy that because Ultra Instant Goku is just hype, right? Jiren and Ultra Instant Goku, that's a dramatic finish right there. Dramatic finish right there. Especially, uh, uh maybe not exact. And I mean, you could have both at the same yeah. You know, if Jiren wins against Goku, there'd be a dramatic finish there. And if Goku wins against Jiren, there'd be also another dramatic finish there. It'd be, it'd be sick, right? It, and it, it would sell. And that's, from a business standpoint, that would make sense, right? That would sell. That's what people want, okay? So I'm not saying that Ultra Instinct Goku is pretty much confirmed. What I am saying, it would make sense. It would make perfect sense. I would not be surprised. I'd bet you five bucks, five invisible dollary dues, (laughs) all right? 
Next on that list is Gogeta. And now, when I talk about Gogeta, I'm going to talk about New Broly as well. Oh, and Janemba. I'm going to talk about these three characters. Because Janemba is in the movie where where Gogeta, or Gogeta happens, right? Or where, where we first see Gogeta in a movie. Um, yeah, so with Gogeta, that's also another sure, safe and sure sell uh, from a business standpoint especially with the the amount of success that the dragon ball super broly movie is ha- having right now oh my goodness like you bandai namco would be silly really really silly if they did not ride that hype it, gogeta doesn't even have to be blue on um, blue he doesn't even have to be super saiyan blue he can be super saiyan Cause that's how he. That's what he came up. That's what he was when, in that movie with Janemba. Right? He could be Super Saiyan. People would still jump on that. I would j- still jump on that. I'd buy that. All right. And he'd have a pretty cool move set. And you could you could be creative with it. You know, it'd be it'd be it'd be it'd be really good. It'd be really really good. And then along with that, Janemba. Janemba is another fan favorite character that everyone everyone wants wants to see and that makes sense you know he would add a few other things he's unique he's not like one of the z warriors so he's unique you could give him a different move set you could give him i don't know you could give him you could give him a sick ass teleport you know just kind of like fade in and fade out kind of like what he does in the movie it'd be sick right Real sick. Um, of course, I'm not talking about the fat Janemba. I'm talking about the the. I, I'm gonna say final form, Janemba. Yeah, we'll leave it at final form. And then with Broly. Okay, with Broly, I have two. Two uh, two opinions on this. All right, uh, I'm gonna say the first opinion first. Uh, the first. Th- First thing for the first opinion first, and the second opinion maybe sometime later when I talk about the others in this list. Okay, but with New Broly, it would also make sense, especially riding that success. If Broly had you had another Broly, which I mean, it's not uncommon. You got you got five point five Goku's in the game. It's not uncommon for another character. You know, if you have the new Broly in there, people would buy that for sure. For sure, especially if you gave him a really cool, unique move set, different from the the non-canon Broly that we have right now in the game. I'm going to canon and non-canon because yeah, but you know, it could it makes sense. Like from a business standpoint, it just makes sense. So Bandai Namco, please can you make these characters? <laughs> From one in the same breath asking for the characters. <laughs> but yeah, you know, these, these characters make sense. And another character that makes sense, Kefla. Right, Kefla just makes sense. She makes perfect sense. You know, if you if they do come out with Ultra Instinct Goku, which once again I'm not saying that they are, I am saying that is a speculation. It just makes sense. Like you'd have that female representation that people are saying, that they are asking for. You'd have a really sick, dramatic finish if Ultra Instinct Goku whoops Kefla's butt. Right, that Kamehameha. Ooh, ooh! I had to watch that like three times. Like I already know that episode shows three different angles for that one move and i watched that episode three times just to see those that kamehameha another another an extra six times that was how sick that was even now i'd still watch that i'd watch that and still be like oh damn yeah and i mean like you could do that i mean you could even give ultra instinct goku that super uh as just as a level three or maybe just as a super that'd be pretty sick right i mean Bluku kind of does it already, but eh, I digress. 
Kefla would be would be sick. I would see Kefla as a zoner, considering those beams that she had coming out um, and cutting, like cutting through the rock and stuff, and also the fact that she had those key blasts as well. Like she had that um, kind of that. What is what is what is, what do they call it in the? It kind of like that whole um, Jason Birder um thing going on, you know. S- seizure procedure. <laughs> I always laugh at that move, but yes, that kind of like that, you know. And she has that, and I don't know. They could, they could give her some other sick moves. Like she has, they they have a lot. That they can use for Kefla, and it, it just makes sense. No, Bandai Namco, jump on that. <laughs> they should pay me for these ideas. No, I'm, kidding. I'm kidding. These are not my ideas. They're not original. Okay, so we've covered Jiren, Go- Ultra Instinct Goku, Gogeta, Janemba, Kefla, New Broly, sort of half half of my opinion. On that on that. L- list well, on that picture there's also raditz and zarbon now this is a big oof oof for me this is this is how i know that this isn't legit this isn't legit okay from a business standpoint all right i'm gonna be talking about the business standpoint from a, for a lot but from a business standpoint raditz and zarbon just don't make sense all right with Raditz, okay, maybe there are a few people that are like, "Oh yeah, don't do my don't do my boy Raditz wrong, man. He's pretty cool." Like, like let's be honest, like you know, when he first announced that Goku was an alien, ra- uh, alien, a Saiyan, an alien race. When I was watching that as a kid, I was like, "What? Really?" Like, I mean, I get, I get that he's got a monkey tail, but damn. You know, so it, yeah, I did. I did watch the Dragon Ball anime when I was a kid. So, yep, that was new new to me when I got to got into Dragon Ball Z, and that was cool. And that fight where Goku and Piccolo reversing Raditz, I mean, it was a bit short, but hey, it was pretty cool. All right, it was it got pretty dark, so. You know, it's um, it's it's good. You no, know, Raditz brings fond memories and it's nostalgia. But let's be fair. The only thing that Raditz would be good for would be one thing, and that is Double Sunday. <laughs> right. Other than that, I don't see him bringing anything else to the table. And I mean, I understand that he's in other games like Xenoverse and Budokai, where he has Bloody Monday, which is a beam, and then Double Sunday, which is two beams, lo and behold. No, it's just like, it's like, what What else is he gonna, is he gonna bring to the table? Nothing, really. He'd just be another generic character. And I mean, this is, this is pro... And I mean, a lot of you may be thinking, you know, all the characters are pretty much the same. No, they're not. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you right now, no, they're not. Once you once you dive into each of these characters, they are not the same. They are similar, but they are not. They are not the same. <laughs> they are not. No way. You do not play Goku Blue the same way you play Super Saiyan Goku. It's just different. But anyways, I'm I'm digressing again zarbon 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 is another example of this right the only thing zarbon would probably bring bring to the table of dragon ball fighters would be a potential install or a stance switch because he changes form right so he's got his normal human form well not human like humanoid form and then his monster form right which would probably see him being a bit slower getting but getting a bit stronger that doesn't make sense to me because what else is he gonna bring what else what is he going to bring to the table man other than that install 
Like, I mean, you could probably get creative with it. But, I mean, who's at... Really, though, who's asking for Zarbon? Who's asking for Zarbon to be in this game? Like, maybe what? Like, 5% of players? I'm not asking for Dodoria either. Like, you know... <laughs> And I mean, you could you could come back at me and be like, no one really asked for base Goku or Vegeta, and I mean, I that makes sense too. And then look how they turned out; they're pretty cool. But point is, like, what are what are they going to bring to the table? You know, like, and no no one would really, no one would really buy them, kind of thing. You know, so it's just it just doesn't make sense though. Those two would would be. DLC. Who's another cool? Who's, who else is on that list? So Super Saiyan Four Goku and Majin Vegeta. All right, this is another one that I do not agree with. So I can tolerate Ultra Instinct Goku because he would play differently compared to the other Gokus, but Super Saiyan Four Goku, like what else? <laughs> He's got the Dragon Fist, which Super Saiyan Goku already has, sort of. And he's got the 10 times Kamehameha, which is just another Kamehameha. And likewise with Majin Vegeta. You know, the only thing that Majin Vegeta would have would be maybe a change of level, change level 3. Instead of being a Final Flash, it could be the level 3 where he commits, well, not commits suicide, but where he blows up. Majin Buu killing himself in the process, right? Which is another uh, Android 16-esque level 3. Right, that could be a thing. But what else, like, what, what kind of buttons would he have? No, what kind of buttons would he have? What kind of special moves would he have? They're pretty much the same as Vegeta. Maybe just change it a little bit. Like, I don't see... I don't see Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Majin Vegeta being added. Because we've already got, what, 3 Vegetas? Um, 3.5 Vegetas in the game. And we've got way too many Gokus already. So, like, it doesn't make sense. What would make sense, however, is if in Season 2 they introduce costumes. Right? If they introduce costumes. Super Saiyan 4 Goku could easily be a costume for the normal Super Saiyan Goku. You got the Dragon Punch, you got the Kamehameha, right? And even you can change it up a bit so that he, instead of turning Super Saiyan 3, you know, you don't have to get him to turn Super Saiyan 3, you just power up, bah, teleport, bam, teleport, bam, Kamehameha, you know? So, and then likewise with Majin Vegeta. Same thing. Just give him the M on the top of his head and a bit of tattered clothes. No, it'd be cool. Like I'd buy those as a costume, no doubt. I definitely would buy those as a costume, cause it's sick. I I enjoyed Majin Vegeta. I Vegeta is my favorite character. I enjoyed the part when he turns into a Majin. That was sick. Oh, well, that was that was great timing. That was a surprise and a half. That was great timing. But in this game. I just don't see don't see what else he would bring to the table. That's all. That's all I'm saying. Next, 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 next on that list is Master Roshi. Now this. Oh, 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 oh. Let me take a step back. Let me take a step back on that thing about skins. This is also New Broly, right? You could easily just put New Broly as a skin for the the Broly that's currently in the game. Though he has a different move set. But I mean, yeah, that's that's the second opinion. <laughs> it was <laughs> probably hyped it up a little bit, <laughs> a bit too much before. But yeah, that's pretty much my second opinion on the Broly. Like he could either be in his own his own character or a skin. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Right next is Master Roshi, as I was saying. So with Master Roshi, Master Roshi, I am conflicted. Honestly, I am conflicted because Master Roshi would be such an awesome addition to fighters. He has such a unique moveset. He would be able to do a stance or an install 
as well because he's got the buff form and his normal form right and kind of like with zeku you know got the old man zeku and then uh, in street fighter 5 old man zeku and the young zeku all right you could do that with master roshi but and this is a big booty butt the only reason why i can't see master roshi in this game is because of the vanish mechanic and the super dash mechanic everyone in this game can fly except master roshi master roshi canonically cannot fly whether in big or small form he does not know how to fly at all period right so if you gave him a super dash me as a fan like i might be might be in the minority here but me as a fan i'd be like this isn't master roshi my guy can't fly so you'd have to think on you'd have to think on what would we give him instead of a vanish and instead of a oh maybe vanish he could work because he, he is pretty fast but instead of a super dash like what what could you give him instead of a super dash you know like give him another vanish that would be stupid and like it'd be a super dash that only master roshi can use right he's the only one that can use it because he's the only one that can fly he uh, can't fly sorry so yeah and i mean i'd, I'd invite that you know um if arxis really wants to put master roshi in the game i just cha I, I challenge them like you know if i challenge them to make a different thing like make a different thing other than super dash but if that's the deal breaker for him not being in the game i t i completely understand you know it's a game where everyone can fly you know well not though really the only one that can fly is zamasu but everyone can super dash <laughs> which is pretty much flying so yeah and last but not least is the Saiyaman duo so i really like i personally like this one i don't think it's gonna be a thing but i personally like this one and if it is a thing oh my gosh <laughs> i am the first gonna i'm gonna be one of the first people to jump on this character if it is because well what i hope it would be if it is a thing is videl would be the main and gohan would be the support kind of like how with 18 and android 17 so gohan would help her with her with some but not all doesn't need to be all all of her special moves and yeah yeah not only does it solve you no know, it adds more female representation which i think the game really does need um we've got like what we got like three no we got like two girls two girls in the game android 18 and android 21 they're kind of feeling lonely i play 21 i know she tells me all the time but <laughs> i digress <laughs> um yeah not nah, videl i i play videl i'd straight up play videl i played videl in i can't remember whether it's budokai 1 or budokai 2 she might have even been in budokai 3 and i'm not talking about budokai tenkaichi all right this is like 1 2 and 3 the original budokais all right i played videl she was my main she was my girl we i i beat I beat Goku so many times with Videl. It was just so funny. <laughs> it was just so much fun. Her moveset was so good. Right? It's just... Yeah, like... You can give her that moveset. Plus more, because you got great Saiyan Man, too. And I totally watch all those poses <laughs> that they do at the start. Like, I... I, I dig that. No, I totally buy that. I totally buy Saiyan Man Duo. But... No, it like I said at the start, it's all just speculation. This, all this, is just speculation on characters, with exception of course, Jiren confirmed, Ultra Instinct Goku, and I guess, um, Gogeta, Janemba, Kefla, 
Like these characters are most likely gonna be in it. Now we'll find out. We'll find if we don't find out this weekend, we'll find out soon enough, right? Um, it just makes sense for these characters to be in the game. Other than that, though, like I don't know. It's up to our Bandai Namco overlords as to what they're gonna do with the game. I, for one, I'm gonna buy the season pass because I like to. I like to have all of my characters. So and also it saves me a bit of money <laughs> instead of buying them individually. So I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be on that, and hopefully I'll be able to cover um, those characters as they come out. Hopefully, and we'll see in the future. Um, with regards to the cha- season two changes, I kind of want to wait until after the LCQ to talk about season two changes, because hopefully it'll come out the day of or after. The world tour finals what we'll, we'll, we'll see or maybe a week after oh, sorry i'm a bit tired and luckily this weekend is a long weekend here in australia because of australia day so it's gonna be awesome it's gonna be it's gonna be cool man i'm gonna be able to play a lot more dragon ball fighters this weekend um anyways i just want to say i just want to say thank you so much for crumbling this cookie with me um Thank you for putting up with the unpolished podcast. And like I said at the start, please, 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 please let me know what you think I can improve on. Because I, 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 there are a few things that I'm going to polish up. For example, I'm going to have an intro and I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to have an intro, maybe segments, maybe a s- specific time for how long these podcast episodes are. I don't know. Um, I'm definitely gonna have an intro though and an outro. I really love intros and outros. Um, so yeah, and I'm still working on. I'm still working on it. This is one of those things. Um, also, I guess to announce, I am still working on Dragon Ball Fighters Basics. Um, trying to. I just finished up deciding what kind of format that I wanted to do. I've got a few scripts on the way, so we'll be talking about. Oh well, I'll be doing those soon i just put this at the start because my friend suggested to do a podcast and i was like yeah that's one of those things i really wanted to do it of from the beginning so um i just pushed this ahead first so i can get it started work on the work on these skills um, develop these skills and then hopefully you guys will be able to enjoy a more professional more polished podcast of each week um i'm hoping to get these to come out every friday which kind of makes sense now friday friday mornings um start the weekend off with some dragon ball fighters so yeah yeah anyways stay safe um be sure to subscribe and tune in to the next episode that we're baking up and thank you so much for tuning in i'll see you guys in the next one peace